Hello everyone, here's Erndale with another tutorial about lip sync. And because I'm currently working on a custom model of Alien Yuki, I thought it would be kind of nice to have a tutorial on how to create a character while I was making her and setting her up in lip sync. Because I have yet to do that and I already know how to make a character because of the Gwen model I made earlier as practice and just for one video. So while I'm going to set up the model you guys can go and watch with me and I'll explain what everything does and how it works. Now when you have lip sync open I have went over the, over the interface already a bit. So if you want to add a new character, you're going to edit and add empty character, just like in the previous video. But instead of choosing a built-in like Miku Rin or Lan, you're going to the custom and you hit OK. Now what you did not get with what you do not get when you choose a build-in is this window in here. And this is actually an empty character that does not really do anything yet. So in order to set up our character we're going to have to import some images. If you look here at the, the menus for a bit you see file here. It has open, save, import and export. But it's actually not that wise to just open a model because then you will not be able to make a new one anymore. At least not from what I know. So you click base in here. It does not need to be checked or unchecked. Just click on it and choose edit, set image and then you go to the folder where you have all your stuff set up. So because I was a bit foolish and I did not yet get all my files moved over to the Lipstick folder, I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to copy this and load it into Lipsync. So if you look in here, I also have a rip sync version of her for people who prefer that program. But I'm going to do some extra things for the lip sync model. So if you actually want some more possibilities, I recommend you get lip sync instead. I'm going to make a new folder and program folder of lip sync. And I'm going to call it Alien Yuki. And here I make two maps, just like in Rip Sync. I'm going to call one base. And I'm going to call the other one. Mm, let's see what's a good name. Faces. We're pasting all my stuff in here. And body I'm going to move into the base folder. I'm going to move all the face features into the faces thing. But I'm not sure this will actually work, but I believe it does. I'm going to make another new map and I'm going to call it Accessories. I'm going to move all the accessories I made for her into there. Now, if you're used to rip sync, you'll think, Accessories? Why Accessories? That's actually quite logical to me. I really want to have models that have extra options and not just facial expressions. And for Alien Yuki I chose some well some pretty hilarious effects if I may say so myself. So back to lip sync we're going to go to that specific folder and import a body. So now you see we have this little Alien Yuki visible in here. She's not actually all that tall if you look at her here, but the mole is actually quite big because I always draw big and then shrink it on a PC. And the mouth thingies are in here. The tag also says mouth, so in case you're wondering why these tags are here, 
it makes sure that when you draw bars, you cannot have two mouths overlapping each other on the same timeline. It's possible to have a base and a mouth visible at the same time, but not two mouths. I hope that's a little, a little clear. So for the R mouth, I'm going to go to set image again. I'm going to switch to the faces folder and get mouth R visible. Here you see it. I'm not sure this will actually show up very nicely on the video as it's a pretty small picture as you can see in here, but I hope it's visible. I go do the same for all the other mouse. It's pretty much the same process over and over, so it's not like it's really hard to do or pull off. What actually quite helps is because the program's in English, you know what every mouth thing you mean. So when I'm making reps and models, I'm actually quite confused from oh what what is this one? What is that one? I just seriously do not know. <laughs> F O X O. I'm not really sure what the X O mouth does. I made a wider mouth for it myself, a wider O mouth, but it could very well be that I'm actually accidentally sl well switching them or something like that. And I forgot to make an N mouth again. It's not that big of a deal because well, I'm kind of going to cheat and use the E mouth for it. Mm. Since it looks pretty similar, if you ask me. Character name, I forgot it earlier. It's pretty self-explanatory, Alien Yuki. I'm going to save the lips and character now. And I'm doing so because I do not really want to lose any progress. And knowing me, I'm probably going to... I'm not sure I'm going to crash anything, but... Oh, too fast. 